I grew up in Hot Springs, Arkansas, a tall, slender girl, one of six sisters and two brothers. I remember hating my long, skinny legs, always being the tallest person. Classmate teased and made fun of me. I found my safe haven, a country creek. There I heard only the sounds of water running over smooth, sunlit stones and fallen trees. I heard the sound of our library truck. I wasn't going to miss out on my only chance. There was no library in my neighborhood, so I made sure to look out for it. Near the creek, at a bookmobile, is where I discovered what I would do for the rest of my life. Books taught me to dream the impossible. After 20 years as a librarian, I was assigned to work at La Pintoresca branch. Gangs, guns, shootings, lockdowns, barred windows, bloods, crypts, violence were the words and images that flashed through my mind. I asked myself, what had I done wrong to be sent there? My very first day on the job, I asked a young man to give up his seat at the internet because his time was over. He didn't blink an eye, so I repeated the request. Then it happened. He got up from the computer and called me a black dog. What had I done? I looked him in the eyes, and that's when I saw a look of hopelessness and despair. For one split second, I remembered how I felt when those kids teased me. How could I make him see beauty and hope? When I hear La Pintoresca Library now, I think of Pasadena's only skate park, water park, artwork, a state-of-the-art playground, a technology learning center. Now I see kids' eyes full of hope instead of despair as they listen to stories, do homeworks, create murals, act out plays, use the computer, and dance. In my work at La Pintoresca, I am proud to hear people say, my library. For the people in this neighborhood, La Pintoresca is a safe haven, just like the creek and bookmobile had been mine.